and we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the late night show that can still talk about the Pillsbury Doughboy, wrestling, and games all in one night, only known as the Tuesday Night Special. And apparently, according to the maestro, we got a call from the Pillsbury Doughboy thanking us personally for not mentioning the amount of times he got poked in the belly when he was employed by Pillsbury. He got fired? Well, before we try to figure out that mystery again with the Pillsbury Doughboy folks, I think it's time for us to check out a couple of these video game clips along with these video game hits that'll be making its way soon to an indie game festival near you for another edition of the Indie Cade Triple S The One. And we kick things off this week, folks, with the art wall. Any art wall picture that we have up comes from the developers Freeform Labs, nice developer name, by the way, with their said game, Elementera. And an even cool name for the game, too. Nice. <laughs> and to continue the cool factor, folks, the picture that they provided for this week shows what appears to be a wooden creature making its way through an old lavender forest with lavender trees and even a light glow behind it of what appears to be fireflies flying off in the distance. And behind it also appears to be some form of ancient tomb of some sort. I could be wrong, but anything that has a curvature on a rock like that always leads to some form of ancient tomb. And this picture automatically reminds me of a combination of Pokemon with a little hint of Spore. Yeah, because the creature is made out of wood even though it looks like an evolutionary form of an Eevee which I think now in the Pokemon series they have like about eight. I could be wrong, but yeah, I'm pretty much gonna ballpark the number eight. And here's hoping with this ancient creature in the near future that it helps you get a whole bunch of different sorts of items and also helps you out on your many, and I do mean many, adventures. Cause I would hate to fight something that looks like that that could possibly turn me into a tree. Yes, Maestro, that's what powers I think it has. The power to turn people into trees like Don Cheadle's Captain Planet. Seriously, I think it can. But besides Pokemon lookalikes that can turn people into trees, folks, we now head into the sound wall for this week. And the sound we have up comes from the composer Vladimir Komanpovsku with his said sound of Tome's Wood Theme from the video game Nexus the Zardonian Oracle from the developer's Authentic World. And when I close my eyes while listening into this sound, I'm automatically reminded of going into an ancient monk-like temple, seeking wisdom from the master monk of what to do next with my life. For him to say, if you can grab the pebble out of my hand, my son, you too can learn the true path of wisdom. And no matter how many times I would try to grab that pebble, he would always be able to keep it away from me until that one magical day when I finally got the pebble and learned the true wisdom of ultimate peace. And according to the maestro, he is currently holding the pebble I grabbed from that ancient monk and told me to grab it from him and I'm too slow. Real funny maestro, give me the pebble. Cut it out maestro, give me the pebble. Jeez. But besides me trying to grab a pebble from the maestro and making fun of him while I'm still holding the pebble in my hand, I think it's time for us to go into the Screenshot Saturday Showcase for this week. And the Screenshot Saturday Showcase for this week comes from the developers Atomic Wolf L Inc. Nice name, by the way, with their game, Liberated. And the picture we have up for this week, our makeshift screenshot, shows a comic book of a guy taking out somebody on the top of a water tower or a makeshift scaffolding 
only not to realize that somebody behind him with another gun is trying to take him out with the word bang coming out of the gun that he's currently shooting. And this comic book style automatically reminds me of not only, strangely enough, Max Payne 3 and a little hint of 13 in there as well. Cause I'm pretty sure that was comic book like-ish as well. And you know, while I'm at it, it also reminds me of the Punisher too. So here's hoping in the near future for this game, they have a cool theme song to go with this guy and a cool name as well for what sort of mission he has to do to take these guys out. And if he doesn't have a name, already got one for him right now, Maestro. How do you like the name Victor Troy for this guy? Yeah, Victor Troy. You know, guy with a rough attitude, you know, renegade, fights crime, somehow lost his family in a bus accident, and still managed to come back to save the girl at the end? Yeah, Victor Troy. I can see that. But before we go into a movie plot for a picture of the game we just saw, folks, I think it's time for us to go into the final five awards that will be at the award ceremony that will take place at the IndieCade Festival of Games on Friday, October 11th, starting at 6.30 p.m. in the SMC CMD Courtyard. And the first award we have up is the Grand Jury, then the Audience Choice, presented by Fandom, then the Media Choice, the Developer Choice, and finally, last but not least, the Night Games. Which, for some strange reason, I think is presented by Bob Seger, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And if you guys want to check out all of the awards that would be presented along with all of these cool games, plus all of the games that are featured on the art wall, sound wall, screenshot Saturday showcase, or even have your games featured on there as well, you can head on over to the IndieCade.tumblr page, only known as IndieCade.tumblr.com, or head on over to their Facebook page, known as IndieCade, or even their Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Flickr, or website, or any other page they have that are all named the same, but is equally critically acclaimed, only known as, you guessed it folks, IndieCade. And I guess with that said, we might as well head back into this music and continue to listen in to these diamonds in a rough as we try to turn your Tuesday night into a Friday night. Only here, right here, on the Tuesday Night Special. So don't fall asleep just yet, folks, and stay tuned. 